Hey everybody, welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how to uh, save and export files in Luminar AI. Now when you make edits to a photo in Luminar AI, it saves the information in what's called a sidecar file. So for each photograph, it makes a separate little uh, file that holds all of the changes that were made to that photo. So when you open it up in Luminar AI, it reapplies those changes and you see the changes in Luminar AI. If you open that same photograph in another program, there will be no changes because it has not changed the file itself and other programs do not understand the sidecar file that Luminar creates. So what you need to do is export the uh, photo you edited to a uh, file format your other programs can understand and that have the changes burned into them. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Now the first thing to be aware of is Luminar saves uh, its catalog by default under pictures under a folder named Luminar AI catalog. And so under this uh, directory you have this main database file which is the catalog file and then under here uh, you have folders with other files that help um, construct your edits when you view it or when you export it. If you look in here, there's a bunch of files that have these weird numbers on them and they're .state files. These are for, for um, all of the uh, photos that you've opened and edited and it gives them, I guess, basically a serial number of some sort, a unique number that correlates to the file and the database holds that file number and, and tells it what file it's supposed to go with. So you want to make sure you back up this Luminar AR catalog folder uh, because if you lose this you'll lose all of your edits. The only thing you want to do is you want to export your file to a uh, format that you can use in other editors and viewers. In order to do that, once we've edited our photo, we just go up here to export. You can actually uh, you can actually uh, save to these uh, things like uh, Smug Mug, which is a uh, photo website, and you can save it to 500 Pix, which is another f photo uh, website, and you can also send it an email. But in this, we're just going to save it to to our disk. So we just click this button right here and it will have a uh, folder location up here by, by default. I think it's just pictures. You can click on browse and select another folder. What I've done is I've set it to uh, a subfolder in pictures which is called Luminar AI uh, exports uh, but you can save it to whatever directory that you want. It also has a file name here uh, and, and by default it throws in the file name that it had uh, when you uh, edited it. And then you can put all these different uh, formats. You can save it in these different formats. You can save it in JPEG, PNG, TIFF, Photoshop, and even PDF. And so if you were going to edit it in Photoshop, you probably want to save it in Photoshop format. If you want to uh, edit it in uh, other files, you'll probably use it the TIFF format. If you want to just uh, put it on the web or share it over the internet, you'll probably want to put it into a JPEG format. But in this case, we're going to just save it to Photoshop. Depending on the format, you can go through these things and it will tell you do you want it the actual size, um, do you want to sharpen it, uh, what color space do you want. We're just going to use the defaults on this one and uh, we're just going to hit export and that's all there is to it now the now it's been exported to the f folder that we uh, directed it to so we can open it up in Photoshop now because that's the format I saved it in we go back to this as you, as I said you can save it in other formats and depending on the format it will give you choices for example in TIFF by default, the bit depth is 8. If you want higher quality, you should go to 16. Uh, 
it currently has no compression on it, which is good. You probably want to save them as actual size with no compression. And even if you go to uh, JPEG, unless you're going to use it, share it over the internet and you need to compress it, if you, you want to just save it to JPEG to edit in other photo editors and then use that in your workflow and then put out the final product, then you'll, you'll want the quality in JPEG to be like 100%. Uh, because when it compresses it, you lose some detail. So whenever you, you want to save or export to a file format to work in another editing program, try to always save it with no compression, the highest quality and the most information that you can. This has been Photo Blue, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.